Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy. And today we have two Miranda Refit class ships and two Constellation class cruisers. And we will be using these ships to fight the Klingons uh, in Alpha Onias in the Next Generation era. Now, the ships that I'm using might not look very Next Generation y, like the Miranda class Refit, although that thing was in the uh, Wrath of Khan when he attacked the Enterprise. Um, the Enterprise's Constitution refit, which I'm not sure. Is that also? Yes, it is. So, I'm using pretty much late original series ships in Next Generation Air Battles. The Constellation class, which is it's the wrong way, is over here. It's the same type as the Stargazer, which I guess is just a Next Generation Air ship, because you never hear about any ship like this in the original series era. But still, these ships are pretty early on in the Next Generation to really combat against other next generation vessels, but I am going to try. So we're gonna fight these Klingons and hopefully win. I think I'm just gonna stick with the Bretagne the whole time unless... Landry, eh. Lantry. Eh, let's stick with the Bretagne. That was number one. Okay, Klingons are right here. That's the important part. I'm not gonna ramble on anymore. Target. We can totally beat these, uh, this Nigvar class and these fortresses, no problem. Our shields are already pretty much down, they're down, I'm destroyed. So we've already just lost one of our ships, shields are down on this one. Things are going fantastic. Lost another ship there. Can't seem to get the shields down on this guy. Oh, I'd like it if this thing would just die. No, not this thing. That thing. Jeez. Oh, we're about to lose it. It's pretty bad. This is. Oh, we got it. We got it. Jeez, this is terrifying. These Klingons are way more powerful than my ships ever will be. Good thing is there's a Sovereign coming in. Okay, maybe we should target the little guy. With this ship. We are out of respawns. Okay. Good stuff. We're dying a little less, but it's kind of late, considering we're out of respawns. Oh, stop taking my shields down. I need those for things. Come on, lock on. With Okay, fine, don't lock on. See if I care. We're about to lose the uh, Stargazer, aren't we? Ooh. Oh, oh jeez. Another Negvar. Oh, that was a fun sound. Jeez. I think the Stargazer just said, oh, we're having a fun time. Nah, he didn't say that. Warp. Well. Uh, this went well. Couldn't have gone better. And we're being followed. No, we're not. I lied. It's all good. Well, it would seem that these ships, as I said, well, I didn't exactly say this, but as I'm going to say, these ships just aren't really equipped enough to uh, take on a fleet of that power. And you'd never see a Miranda Refit taking on a Vorcha, realistically. I mean, that's just impossible. And as proven, it's impossible, as I just showed. Let's just sit over this planet. Is that Navar coming for... No, Vorcha coming for... Uh, wait, I'm confused. That's a... That's a Vorcha. That's not. That means there's a... Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. This planet was a bad idea. I saw that guy. I didn't see that guy. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Well, we're dead. Oh, 
Okay. Well, uh, one thing that I learned in this is that ships from that early in the next generation era are not made to take on ships from the later next generation era. Meaning that Miranda Refits and Constellation class ships cannot take on Negavars and Vorchas. But, so, that took just, un like, literally just under four minutes for me to be completely taken out by that Klingon assault force. If you guys enjoyed this battle in which I lost terribly, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave it a like, and if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. If you did not like this video, probably because my lack of skills in battling the Klingons, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what it is I can do to improve the next videos that I make so that you guys will enjoy them. And as always, if you want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, also be sure to leave a comment about that. I will read those and I'll try to use those ideas in my future videos. So, as always, I'm Foxtrot Delta, and I'll see you next time.